a lightly seasoned juicy burger topped with caramelized onions and Swiss cheese, all between buttery toasted rye bread. That is a patty melt. Want to learn how to make one? Stay tuned. Tonight is going to be patty melt night, and these are going to be Hungry Man patty melts. First, I'm making my caramelized onions. I have two medium-sized yellow onions that I'm slicing about an eighth of an inch thick. In my pan on low-medium heat, I'm adding in a couple tablespoons of butter and one tablespoon of olive oil. The added oil helps prolong the cooking of the onions till they caramelize, and this is going to take about 30 minutes. As the onions cook, they will release their sugars, turn a nice brown caramelized color, and they will really add to the flavor and deliciousness of these patty melts. I purchased some ground beef, and you want to use an 80% blend for a good juicy burger. Like they say, fat is flavor. This is about an 85% blend ground beef, but they're still going to be juicy and delicious because I'm making a hungry man half pound patty melt. Oh yeah. In my bowl, I have one and a half pounds of ground beef, and I'm adding in about an eighth of a teaspoon of salt and black pepper, a sprinkle of garlic powder, and about two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce. You can add more if you like, but I don't want a lot of seasonings in the burger. Lightly mix together and forming into three patties. I'm making the patties oval shaped so they will fit the rye bread. You also want to make some slight indents in the middle of the patty so when they cook they will remain flat and not bubble up. You can use any pan or grill to cook the patties, but tonight I'm using my cast iron skillet. On medium high heat I'm adding in some butter and olive oil and placing in the patties. Let them cook untouched for a couple minutes until they form a nice crust. You will see the patties changing color around the side. Give the patties a flip and let them cook until they're done. Remove from the pan, cover, and let them rest for about 10 minutes just like you would a steak. This will give the juices time to disperse within the burger. Now we are ready to make these patty melts. I'm generously buttering the outside of the rye bread and making sure I get all the edges. You don't have to add any condiments, but I like a nice slather of mayonnaise. In my pan on low heat, I'm adding in a tablespoon of butter and melting. I have an electric stove and my setting is at a four. Placing my rye bread butter side down. Adding a slice of Swiss cheese my juicy beef patty, a nice healthy layer of caramelized onions, and I like to cover the patty. Another slice or two of Swiss cheese, and the other piece of buttered rye bread. Give the patty melt a good smash with your spatula to glue and bring everything together. Let it cook for a minute or two and give it a flip. Cook for another minute or two until the cheese is melted and the outside is a toasted golden brown. Let's make another Hungry Man patty melt. If you haven't already done so, please hit that like and subscribe button for my future video recipes. Feel free to share this recipe with your friends and family. This really helps my channel grow and it is greatly appreciated. Now all that is left is the eating and that's the best part. You can make these patties smaller and flatter, but these Hungry Man half pound patty melts make a meal. As you can see, even using a slightly higher percentage ground beef, the patty melts are nice and juicy. They are absolutely delicious and tasted like steak. The sweetness of the caramelized onions and the salty tang of the Swiss cheese adds a nice balance. And the rye bread, it brings it all together. Serving tonight with some potato chips, and some of my homemade pickle green tomatoes. I hope this recipe video has inspired you to make your own patty melts. Enjoy! If you like this video recipe, please hit the like and subscribe button.
Remember to hit the bell next to the subscribe to make sure that you get my future video recipes. You can also find me on Facebook and at my website. Feel free to share this recipe and my channel with your friends and family. And until next time, much love!